Climate change is without a doubt a genuine worldwide concern we should all be paying more attention to. In the next century, it is predicted that global temperatures are expected to escalate between 2.5 to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. This was indicated by the Intergovernment Panel on Climate Change, which consists of over 1,300 scientists from around the globe. We're already starting to feel the effects of climate change, and this will only become worse as time passes. This is an issue that will have a snowball effect on not only humans, but also ecosystems, agriculture, and wildlife. With regards to protecting the environment for generations to come, a few nations are accomplishing more compared to others. After all, a worldwide issue requires a worldwide solution. And one of the leading nations making the most effort to prevent climate change is good old Denmark. By the year 2030, a large portion of its energy consumption is expected to come from renewables. And by the year 2050, the country is hoping to have eliminated the need to use fossil fuels altogether. Ultimately, the goal of Denmark is to inspire other nations by serving as a visual demonstration. But that's not all they're working on. Denmark is reportedly working on a never-seen-before project that, if successful, will pave the way for many other countries to follow suit. In this video, our channel will take a look at the most ambitious project in Denmark, an energy island that could eventually be capable of providing energy to millions of homes. In 2021, Denmark's government arranged to construct the world's first energy island in the North Sea. The plan is to scale up the island's electricity production to 10 gigawatts from the initial 3 gigawatts of electricity, which is around one and a half times the country's current needs. The objective is to utilize the new offshore island to convert seawater into green hydrogen and have it exported to provide other European countries with electricity. The island will also have enormous batteries that will store excess electricity in case the demand is too high. Private companies will be welcome to join a public or private partnership to execute the project, even though the Danish government will most likely claim a majority stake. A whopping 600 giant wind turbines that are up to 260 meters in height will be responsible for supplying the power on the island. Denmark's Green Island that will be as large as 18 football fields and will be connected to hundreds of coastal wind turbines. Despite being in its initial stage, the island will be able to supply electricity to homes and green hydrogen for use in shipping, heavy and light transport, flight and industry. It was uncovered that the European Union had plans to increment its offshore wind energy capacity 25-fold and change its power system to depend mostly on sustainable energy within 10 years. Since the island will be located 50 miles off the Danish coast, the turbines can be bigger than the ones we normally find on land, giving them access to higher speeds of wind and generating much more electricity. High seawalls will also be installed on three sides of the island to serve as protection against swells, with a docking station being installed on the fourth side for servicing the equipment needed for the island's operations. The hub, once up and running, will be able to send electricity to 3 million homes in its initial phase. But gradually, the size will more than triple, and we can expect many more homes to be powered by the island as the years progress. So, how exactly will all of this work? The island will provide electricity by sending liquid energy back to Denmark and surrounding countries via subsea cables with the use of a hub. An additional energy hub will then be added later on, this hub will also be able to store energy and send it as needed after their huge batteries are installed, which will turn out handy in case the demand for green electricity increases. By making use of wind power to generate electricity, the island can make very competitive green hydrogen. And it has a zero carbon footprint. But how does the island produce green hydrogen? Hydrogen is produced through electrolysis by separating up water molecules by utilizing an electric current. This hydrogen is then considered green because that power is renewable. The hydrogen can be utilized to produce ammonia that cargo ships can make use of instead of environmentally harmful fossil fuels. Planes could also run on green hydrogen or on synthetic fuels 
that combine the hydrogen with carbon dioxide gathered from the air. The hydrogen can also be utilized in industrial plants, vehicle fuel cells, and could even be funneled into homes to replace natural gas. This proves how much the island alone can revolutionize today's use of energy. By constructing a harbor, as well as facilities for conversion and storage of green energy from the nearby wind turbines in the sea, Denmark's Green Island will provide the best opportunities to expand on the project further. Even though offshore wind power has existed for a long time, Denmark's Green Island will be the planet's first clean energy hub while accumulating and sending out electricity from numerous wind farms at the same time. The project will become a pathway for Denmark and the whole world to move away from fossil fuels and then move into an environmentally friendly solution in areas that, a significantly short time prior, looked very difficult to achieve. Funded by both Denmark's government and the companies that will partner with it, the Green Island project is estimated to cost around $34 billion and will be the biggest construction project in the country's history. The ability to store green energy on the island, transform it into liquid form, and then convey it via underground cables to Denmark and its neighboring countries is their long-term ambition. However, the Green Island project is just a fragment of Denmark's bigger plan to quickly cut emissions by 2030 and by 2050 become a carbon neutral country altogether. And there you have it. We hope that Denmark's Green Energy Island will inspire other countries to do the same and step up their game so we can preserve our little green planet a little longer. Or at least until Elon Musk can build a human colony on Mars. What do you think about Denmark's brilliant project? Do you think it will be successful? Let us know in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on the bell icon to stay updated whenever we release a new video. Other than that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.